Hello, welcome to another video of Code Snippet. So in this video, we are going to look into one of the important feature that is provided by Spring Boot called as Spring Boot Actuators. So Spring Boot Actuator is something which provides a production ready features. That means when you deploy your application inside your production environment or any environment, let's say, then you can make use of actuators to get various matrices of your application. So that is something which we are going to look into this video. So this is going to be a fun video. So sit back, relax and enjoy the show. So let's get started over here. So the source of information I'm giving you is coming from Spring documentation. So production ready features. So Spring Boot includes number of additional features to help you monitor and manage your applications, right? It will help us by providing us few endpoints, few HTTP endpoints, which we can hit on your application and check the health or various matrices of your application, right? Let's go into this particular application over here. And here we have this e-com application. So we have used this particular e-com application in many of our videos. So if you are following my Spring Boot series, then you may already have idea about this particular project. Let's just have a quick glance over here in this application. So we have these three controllers over here. So product controller, order controller, and we also have an exception handler, which we saw in exception handler video, right? And we have a service folder inside inside which we have multiple services for example product service payment service etc etc then we have a repository which is a product repository then we have few exceptions defined then we have few entities right there are many things basically in this application uh, if you are following the series you may have idea about all those files already right this project also i have pushed on a github repository so you will find the link in the description again now we are going to focus on actuators in this video. Now what I will do over here, I will deploy this application, right? So let's start this application. So it should be started. Now if I say localhost 8080, you will have nothing basically because there is no URL configured, right? Now let's go back to production ready features documentation and let's go to enabling production ready features, right? So how we can enable? And again, if I hit the actuator endpoint over here, so this is basically the endpoint that is provided by Spring Boot actuator. So localhost colon 8080, that is port number slash actuator. If you hit, then we are getting nothing. Basically, if I reload this, we are again getting nothing, right? So let's go back over here in this documentation and let's go to enabling production ready features. Actuator, we need to enable first, right? So Spring Boot actuator, we need to enable inside our application. So in order to do that, we need to add a certain dependency, right? Which dependency we need? Spring Boot Starter Actuator, right? So this is basically the dependency that we need to add. And they have also provided the Maven code for it. So what we need to do is we just need to copy this, right? Go to our application and uh, open a POM file over here, right? So POM file of this particular application. So and in the dependency tab, just go ahead and add this particular dependency right so i have just added this particular dependency so dependencies tag we already have so i'll just remove that i'll just keep dependency over here and what i will do after that i will just reload the maven and i will just reload the maven from here so it will download the dependencies and everything the newly added dependencies and now what we can do let's restart our application so stop and rerun it now it should be started. Now let's go back and let's again reload this particular URL. Now did you see what happened? Now the actuator endpoint over here will list how many endpoints are available in this particular application which we can use as a production ready features, right? The actuator is there which we are using. It's kind of a self URL. Next one is for health. So if I click on this particular URL, you will get the health of your application that the status of your application is up right so that is how you can check if your application is up or not when you deploy your application right so these are minimal things you will get once you just add your dependency inside your project we just added one dependency and that automatically enabled these health check endpoints for us right that's how you can make use of actuator and you can enable health check now if you go back over here then you will see if I go to endpoints, then you will see that there are multiple endpoints available over here. So there is this beans, caches, conditions, environment, flyway, health. Health is something which is already enabled, right? But there are many more, right? So if I go over here and try to hit the beans endpoint, then again, I'm getting error, right? Because that is not enabled. We only have these three. 
right and again if you see this stack trace over here then it should have something called as actuator that means there is only one endpoint beneath base path actuator that means only health is enabled by now right now we need to enable rest of them right then how to enable then enabling endpoints right in properties file so here in our application we have application.properties file so if i scroll down over here in the resources we will have this application.properties right which have our application name nothing else right and it is giving us the code to enable as well so what we need to do over here is we need to just copy this let me just copy this quickly from here and let me just go over here and paste it right so in application.properties we have added this configuration which says management endpoint shutdown enabled true right now again this will just enable the shutdown api right because if you see over here it says management.endpoint.id.enabled that means this particular shutdown only will be enabled right but now you will say i don't want only one i want all of them right all of them i want then in that case what you can do over here is you can just go over here and expose all the endpoints by using this particular property right so management endpoint web exposure include that means include and what to include if you say health then only health will be included but what we will do here now i want to include everything so what i will do i will just go over here and include equals to i will say star that means include everything i want everything basically i want all the apis over here i don't want one or two right then what i did i just added this particular property and i said start star means include everything now let's restart our application let's see what happens now here if you see let me just scroll to right and you will see exposing 14 endpoints beneath base package actuator last time it was only one right health one now there are 14 now let's go back over here and let me just reload this particular api now can you see this now there are many endpoints now there is this actuator which is a self one then we have beans as well then we have caches actuator caches then we have health which was already there then we have info actuator environment right there are many more so let's do one thing let's go through them one by one uh, all the important ones we are going to cover so let me click on this beans first so if you see over here beans then what all beans that are present inside your application context will be listed over here so if you have been following my series i have used this feature many times to show what all beans are present so you might be able to relate something like that right so if i open this and inside our ecom application in beans you have multiple beans listed over here right for example if i go into my application over here and here we have product service right so let's try and search product service over here so i will just so i will just do command f and let's say product service right so as you can see product service bean is present over here right and you will be able to see more details if i scroll to very right to it so it's a singleton bean the path to it and the proxy and everything you will be able to see right so the use case of this one is once you deploy your application what all beans you have created inside your application your bean is created fine or not so those things you can directly go ahead and check in your production environment and once it is created it will be registered inside your application context basically right and it will be present inside actuator bean url right so that is basically the bean url then you will have this particular caches right so if i click on this cache over here then if you have any caches inside your application the list of those caches will be visible over here now we don't have it so we are not seeing anything health is something that we already seen so if i open this then you, you will see the status of your application if it is up and down after that we have this info which will list down the info of your application conditions which will display various conditions of your application so if you go over here so if you go ahead over here and look for condition then it will show the conditions that were evaluated on configuration and auto configuration classes for example we have seen conditional on property right so based on few property configuration your bean will be injected or will not be injected right so that is something the information related to that will be provided over here so if i click on this you will see the application context and you will have the positive matches negative matches and unconditional classes right so most of the classes that we we have added are 
unconditional only because we have we do not have any conditions but if we do like for example these are spring inbuilt classes then it will show you the respective details over here right so all the condition you will get for example add the rate conditional on class in this particular auto configuration class right so that is basically the use of it so by using this you can see that your bean is injected or not if you are using any conditions on it right after that we have config props right so basically all the configuration properties that you have inside your application it will be visible over here for example if you go over here it says displays a collected list of all the configuration properties at the right configuration properties. so if i click on this config properties then you will have all the config properties beans on top of which we have at the right config parameter annotation will be listed over here right after that you have environment right so slash environment will show all the active profiles for example we have seen profiles right so you may have your dev profile you may have your stage profile production profile so in production mostly it will be production only right and all the property source information and many other information are present over here so if you go over here poses properties from springs configurable environment right so that is something which you can go ahead and check after that we have loggers right what all loggers we have inside our application that is also will be listed over here after that we have heap dump so again an important feature so heap dump of your application how you can get just hit this endpoint and it will just give you the file which will have the heap dump of your application for example let me just open that file over here so this is basically the heap dump of your application and this heap dump you can load inside any tool which will which will show you heap dump in colorful way to analyze the heap dump and in the same way we will also get the thread dump so here all the details of your stack trace and threads are displayed right so you have thread name and all the information about that particular thread in what state that particular thread is so all the details related to that will be provided after that you have matrices right so if I click on it, you will have various matrices. For example, application ready time, started time, disk free, disk total, everything will be there. And how you can check that? There is one more endpoint. This basically matrices slash and the name of that particular matrices. So what we will do? Let's copy one of them. So let me copy this disk dot free and let's paste it over here and let's hit it. So it will show us disk free and it will show what exactly is the value, how much disk is free right measurement and everything it will show and there are many more matrices you can check over here right for example jvm live threads let's see how many threads are there you will see that the value is 23 23 threads are running right so that is how you can make use of matrices so matrices is again a powerful feature because many cpu related and jvm related matrices you will be able to see over here so again very very important and we also have this actuator slash mappings that means how many rest endpoints or mappings which are present inside your application you can see that so you will see these actuators are there so around 14 will be there after that you will have few related to your application for example let me scroll down over here so if you see then you will find this product slash v1 slash get product id so we have product controller right and we are exposing few endpoints from product controller so those endpoints are again displayed over here right so if you want to check what all endpoints are exposed by your application you can just go ahead and check by using this particular endpoint over here right so we have covered important urls over here in the spring boot actuator and this matrix is monitoring that spring boot actuator is providing you you can make use of that and display your data in various tools so there are various tools that you can use for example datadog is a famous tool new relic is again a famous tool which will show you all the logging and all the matrices of your application in graphical format so, so those are again useful things which you can do by using your spring boot actuators right also spring boot actuators are used in distributed tracing by using tools like zipkin and sleuth right so that we will see in future when we look into microservices so it is mostly used inside microservice architecture and in this particular demo we have just enabled all the endpoints over here right but if you want to disable few endpoints then then you can just add this particular property over here and just make it false that means i don't want info inside my application and if i stop and rerun again then let me scroll over here so you will see that exposing 13 endpoints 
right so last time it was 14 right so one we have excluded so if i go over here and reload this then you will see that info is not there right so basically if i try to find info over here i'm not able to find right that means info is removed so that's how you can enable and disable respect to endpoints that you want inside your application after that monitoring and management over http right so basically so basically this is actuator endpoint that they have provided let's say i want to update the name of this particular actuator something related to my application right so here we have customizing the management endpoint paths right so what we can do over here use this property go inside your application add this property and let's say i want to give manage right or manage my ecom service right so let's reload this application and let's see what happens now now if i go back over here and let me reload this now you are getting a error manage hyphen ecom right now basically the name of that particular actuator is something that we have changed like this right so that is how by using spring boot actuators you can monitor your application and that is how spring boot actuator provides you production ready features which you can use when you deploy your application in production and which will help you to monitor your application from your health checks from your loggers from your matrices from your cpu jvm matrices to your beans and dependencies and configurations in your application so everything you can monitor by using actuators so depending on your need you can just enable and disable it accordingly right inside your application so it is very very simple you just need to add a dependency and few configurations related to your application and you are done you can directly go ahead and start using that particular actuator inside your application so that is basically end of it so i hope you have clear understanding of spring boot actuators by now if you like the video hit the like button don't forget to subscribe to code snippet share this video with your friends so that they will also have idea about spring boot actuators that's it for this video see you in the next video